Hey everybody, welcome to our Sunday School lesson and thank you for watching. Uh, we're going to jump right in and go over our memory verse from last week, which was in Acts chapter 1, verse 8. And it says, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. So if you memorize that verse... Very good job. Keep on memorizing the Word of God. The verse for this week is from John chapter 14, verse 26. And it says, The Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. So this is really cool. Today we're going to talk about the Holy Spirit and what the Holy Spirit does. And we're going to um, talk about the fact that God is recognized in three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So uh, this is really, really cool um, that God gave us the Holy Spirit. Um, one thing that I really like about Jesus is that Jesus always keeps his promises. I don't know about you, but a lot of times I can't keep my promises. Even when I want to sometimes, something crazy will happen. Maybe one time I promised my friend I would be somewhere a certain time. And then I tried to go in the car and I had a flat tire. So I couldn't make it to the place I was going to be at. So I had to call my friend and break my promise and say, I'm really sorry I promised you, but my car has a flat tire so I can't go. Or sometimes I promise somebody maybe I'm going to call them. And I forget, I get really busy and I don't call the person. Then I have to apologize again. I'm so sorry, I promised to call you and I really forgot. So a lot of times we break our promises and we have to say sorry to people. But Jesus never breaks his promises. Jesus is God, so he has all power. So there's nothing that could ever stop him from fulfilling his promises. Just like us, we have sometimes crazy stuff happens. If the car breaks, if the weather is bad, if we get sick, or something like that, and we can't keep our promise, none of that ever happens to Jesus. There's nothing that can stop him. Also, Jesus never forgets because he remembers everything because he's God. Also, Jesus never changes his mind. Do you ever know somebody that promised you something and then they change their mind? That's really bad. You know, we're not supposed to do that. But Jesus never changes his mind. The Bible tells us that there's no shadow of turning. There's no changing. Jesus, God never changes his mind. He always does exactly what he says he's going to do. So one thing that, uh, <clears throat> one thing that Jesus uh, did for the disciples, he told them to remember the promise of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit was supposed to come when Jesus left the earth. Then the Holy Spirit would come. So that followers of Jesus can have a helper, can have a counselor. We can have uh, uh, the Holy Spirit lives inside of us and guides us and helps us to hear from God and helps us to connect with Jesus. When Jesus left the earth, he said, I promise you, I'm going so I can send. Remember, the Holy Spirit has promised to you, I'm going and then you're going to get this promise. This is really, really cool. And this is a great promise for, for all of us to remember. And just like I said, uh, God always keeps all of his promises. He's not like us. So there was a promise made. The promise that Jesus was talking about was all the way back in the time of the prophets. That Jesus talks about um, the promise that the prophet Joel made. That the Holy Spirit would come upon all flesh. Meaning that anybody. You don't have to be a pastor. You don't have to be a minister. You don't have to be smart. You don't have to be uh, anybody special. But anybody who asks for the Holy Spirit. Um, the Bible promised in the book of Joel. That there will be a day. The Holy Spirit will be poured upon all kinds of people. Men and women. Young and old. Poor and rich. All kinds of people, the Holy Spirit will come upon them. And uh, we are, and Jesus definitely made sure this happened uh, for his disciples before he left. Even though it's still happening for us today. A lot of times when Jesus promises us something, it doesn't mean that it's going to happen exactly when we want it to happen. It doesn't mean that it's going to happen exactly the way we want it to happen. 
Maybe your parents promised you one day we're going to go to this place. It doesn't mean that it's going to happen tomorrow. It means that it's going to take some time. So some, some of Jesus' promises take some time. So Jesus already gave us the Holy Spirit in our lives when we asked him. And next week, we're going to talk more about the first time that the Holy Spirit came upon believers. But Jesus already gave us the Holy Spirit for our lives. And the promise still continues. We still wait for the full fulfillment, meaning that we still wait for more of that promise to see the Holy Spirit really go crazy and really come upon more people here in the world. But what is the, some of the things that the Holy Spirit does? Um, some of the other names for the Holy Spirit tell us more about what the Holy Spirit does. So some of the names we have are helper, counselor, comforter, lawyer, and advocate. So we can think about those words and think about what the Holy Spirit does. He's a helper, meaning that when we don't know what to do, we can pray. And it's the Holy Spirit that uh, tells us what we should do our counselor. So you need a counselor if you're having a problem, if you're sad about something, you can pray and the Holy Spirit can help you with that sadness. We need a lawyer. So the Holy Spirit also uh, talks for us. That's what a lawyer does, is somebody who talks for you. Um, an advocate. The Bible even says that uh, the Holy Spirit bears witness for us that we're children of God. So when you go to court, do you know you can't just uh, say whatever you want? They're going to say, how do we know this is true? Do you have any witnesses to tell us it's true? Do you have any witnesses, another person who is watching, who can say, yes, I was there. I saw that happen. I know this person's telling the truth. The Holy Spirit is our witness. That's what the Bible says. And it's our witness to tell that we are children of God. So you have the Holy Spirit in your heart. And that is a witness. That is proof that you are God's child because of the work of the Holy Spirit in your life. The Bible says we have fruit of the Spirit, meaning that we have things that grow in our life, just like fruit grows on a tree, and you know that that's an apple tree because it's growing apples. When you see fruit of the Holy Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. When we see those things, then we know that that person must have the Holy Spirit inside of them because they're growing the fruit of the Spirit. We have gifts of the Spirit. Gifts of the Spirit are special abilities that the Holy Spirit can give us in order to do the work of ministry, in order to help people know more about God. He can give us the gift of praying in tongues. He can give us the gift of prophecy. He can give us all kinds of gifts so that we can help people know more about God. Those are called gifts of the Spirit. So the Holy Spirit plays a very, very important role in our life. And we know, of course, it was a promise it is a promise still for us today not just in jesus day so we need to thank god for the holy spirit we need to thank god for the holy spirit jesus promised the disciples the holy spirit the father sent the holy spirit and the holy spirit now lives inside of us and guides us what would we do without the holy spirit it's an awesome gift we need to be grateful so i want us to just pray today and thank god for the holy spirit if you uh, feel like you want more of the Holy Spirit in your life, then you can pray and ask God for more of the Holy Spirit in your life to guide you, to help you, to speak to you, and to help you, give you strength to be more like Jesus each and every day. So let's pray. God, we thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. We thank you that you promised us a long time ago you would send the Holy Spirit into this earth, that Jesus, when you left, you said the Holy Spirit is going to come now and be with all of the believers and be with the church until I come back again. And that the Holy Spirit will guide us into all truth and bring to our remembrance all the things that was uh, that Jesus taught us. So Lord, when we have a hard time, uh, when we need comforting, when we need guidance, we pray that the Holy Spirit would help us. Anybody who wants more of the Holy Spirit, I pray that you would give I pray that you would pour out more of your spirit on all of us, on young and old. Lord, we thank you that we're not too young to ask for the Holy Spirit. We're not too old. 
So thank you for all of the kids. I pray that you would bless them this week, that they would go forth in the power of the Holy Spirit and they would continue to learn more and more about you and to love you more each and every day, Jesus. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. Have a good week.